we will do the project demonstration of a based automatic uh, irrigation system so here we are going to control this motor based on the sensors inputs so to control that motor we will be taking it of the uh, three sensors, two sensors with the three parameters one is the moisture level sensor and there is a dht double one so from this we are going to get the, the digital humidity and temperature and water level from this soil moisture sensor based on these three inputs we are going to control the motor in a a manner so here how this artificial intelligence works so before on this motor the system will check the moisture content and then next it will check the humidity and temperature of the atmosphere so when the atmosphere or temperature and the humidity is uh, normal then we are going to on the motor and when it is abnormal nothing but as you know that before rainfall the humidity will increases so based on that it will check the no need of on the motor as of now why because in the future we are going to get the rain so in that manner we are going to save the power also so instead of uh, watering the plants so for that purpose we are making use of this humidity and temperature sensor so based on these three sensors inputs a uh, raspberry pi 0, 0 will control the motor and continuously it will keep on upload the data to the thinkspeak cloud platform with the help of Wi-Fi module, so here we have attached the Wi-Fi module here. So we have interfaced this uh, sensor, this moisture sensor at pin number 2 and pin number 4 for this DHC double one and pin number 18 is connected to the electromagnetic relay and LED was connected at pin number 3. So just it will show the status of the Raspberry Pi is working means it will keep on checking the sensors data and uploading the so called the same data to the uh, Thingspeak cloud platform. So here this is the power supply for the motor through the electromagnetic relay and this is a power supply for the input and output modules. So like sensors and Raspberry Pi 0 module. So coming to this relay board there we can see the LED indication which will show the status of the relay and transistor to control the relay. So to switch the motor the switching uh, sequences Raspberry Pi 0 will on the transistor parallelly LED and the transistor will on the relay relay will on this motor so the operating voltage for the motor is 230 volts directly so this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which is getting from this adapter throughout the input and output modules to the sensors LEDs and uh, Raspberry Pi 0 directly so before on the kits we need to on the hotspots so by using the mobile phone hotspot only the system will upload the data to the Thingspeak cloud platform go to hotspot settings change the hotspot name to project 5731 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after that enable the hotspot enable the data and now log into the thingspeak cloud platform right so there you get the in my channel go to iot a irrigation and now on the power supply so it will take around of 30 seconds duration to log in so because raspberry pi will boot up the memory card and then after it will uh, auto run the a irrigation project python code so after the booting we can see this red led will on and off two times so that is the indication of raspberry pi got initialized and it was connected to the wi-fi so here uh, we are providing the 5 volts right it's on and off two times then after it blinks for every operation whenever this blinking rate was reaches 10 blinks then it's an indication of the system is uploading the data to the thingspeak cloud platform so let the blink starts so then as, a, as of now there is no moisture content to the soil moisture sensor so it will on the motor as the weather conditions are normal so whenever the humidity increases then the motor gets switched off or if the water content increases and the temperature also increases right so the water content increases then we can see the one more LED indication on the soil moisture sensor and the motor we get switched off so wait for right so we got the data now so here you can see that that humidity and temperature and a moisture level means 0 or 1 so when we click on the dot so we can see the date and time and all so if you want to get the fresh data then go to data import exports download the data so open that in excel sheets so 
so we will get the number of entries field 1 is going to be the humidity and temperature and moisture level the 0 or 1 so after we download the data we can erase that now so to erase that go to channel settings in that do only clear channel don't do any other things only clear channel right channel got cleared now go to private view private view to get the live data channel settings to clear the channel data import export to download the data there you can see the again the fresh data is appearing on the screen right so now the water content is one so when it is again no water content the motor will get switched on and it will be uploaded so let me increase the humidity also for increasing the humidity we can uh, blow the hot air on this uh, humidity sensor that's a dsu double one right so it's increased and the motor got switched off again so whenever the humidity is come to normal temperature is normal and moisture content is less then only the motor will get switched on we can see that the rise in the humidity also and moisture level is zero now that's why the motor is on state right actually we need to place this also then we get the power supply to the motor right so we can sense that the motor is running and whenever the water content is available to the sensor it will off again right so in this manner we are uh, utilizing the artificial intelligence to save the power for uh, irrigation systems to make it easy automation